Hope you enjoyed our little performance of the Kitchen Samba. Now it's your turn. We're going to take you through it step by step and show you how you can put something like that together yourselves. So good luck and have some fun. To play my rhythm, first of all, you need to be able to say the words one, two, three, four, five bananas. 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 For my pattern, you need to be able to say the words fish and chips, sausage and chips. 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 To say the shaker rhythm, you need to use the word hello. Hello, 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 hello. You need to make sure that the low is on the first beat. So when the whistle goes and counts to four, on the fourth whistle, you need to say hello straight away after. One, two, three, four, hello, 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 hello. Okay, so to play my rhythm, first of all, we need to say the words walk, 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 jogging. So we've got three walks and a jogging. Walk is one clap, jogging is two. And if we clap that rhythm and say the words, we get walk, 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 jogging. Walk, 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 jog. Okay, so at the start and the end of the piece, we have a break. And the break is a call and response. So I play the call, you play the response. You might know this already, the call goes oggy, 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 and the response is oi, oi, oi. In the middle, I play oggy once, so you just play oi once. So we get oggy, 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 oi, oi, oi. Oggy, 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 oi, oi, oi. Oggy, oi, oggy, oi, oggy, 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 oi, oi, oi. My whistle will tell you when to start the groove after the introduction, and it will tell you again when to play the break at the end of the piece. And it's always four whistles. So now we know how to say and play the rhythm, we need to decide what we're going to play at all. Uh, first of all, we need something to play it with. So a wooden spoon is always a, a good idea. And the first object I'm going to try is a little Tupperware container. Our rhythm needs to be played on objects that make a dead sound. We could use a rolling pin. Um, I've got a chopping board. Or a cake tin. And then I've got a baking tray. So the choice is yours. You ex experiment, try different objects, and you decide which sound you like the best. When playing my part, we need to have some instruments that are kind of low sounding if we can do. So we need things that are quite big, uh, made out of plastic probably. You don't want to use anything made out of metal because that's going to be too high pitch. The pans are going to be too high pitched as well. They're going to sound like the bell part too much. So what I've got here is I've got a plastic tub mixing bowl and a fruit bowl that would work fine now we need something to play these instruments with and so i've gone for some plastic spoons now i'm going to use the back of the plastic spoons rather than the handles as they just give a slightly different sound if i was to use them this way around rather than we get a duller sound which is what we want because it's the surdus so we would have this fish and chips sausage and chips fish and chips Sausage and chips, fish and chips, sausage and chips, fish and chips, sausage and chips. Okay, so we are playing the Agogo Bell part from the Samba Band, and first of all, we need to think of metallic sounds. 
and we want two different pitches. We want a low sound and a high sound. The obvious choice for this one is some pans. So I've got a large one and a small one. The large one will give me my low sound and the small one will give me my high sound. I'm using some spoons to play with. So I'm holding the spoon in my hand. We get a bit more control if we use the handle to hit the pans with. And we get So that's the obvious choice. Um, a couple more ideas for you. Here we have a colander and a mixing bowl from the cake mixer. And finally we have some cups of different sizes. So although these aren't made from metal, they do still create more of a bell sound, like a ringing sound. So there you go, the choice is yours. To play the shaker rhythm, all you need is something that makes a rattling noise or a scrunchy noise. So I was using rice in a box. But you could also use just pasta in a bag if you don't have a box. Make sure you hold the end so it doesn't all fall out and you hold it loosely. You could also use any other hard box that's got some hard sort of material inside. So this is Aldi Oxo. And then final one, if you don't have any of those, you could just use an empty packet of crisps or cheese biscuits. and you still get the same effect.